back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to configure and set up a site to site VPN between an on prem data center and our AWS VPC. So on your right, you can see we have an on prem setup, which is running a customer gateway. And on the left, you can see we have our AWS VPC, which has a virtual private gateway. So customer gateway and virtual private gateway are nothing. They're just uh, two anchors or two ends of a single connection. So we'll be setting up an IPsec VPN between our virtual private gateway and customer gateway. So since we don't have an on-prem data center, we'll be using an AWS VPC as an on-prem. So you can see we have EC2 instances, a virtual private gateway and a customer gateway. So this is what our architecture is going to look like. And we'll be setting up an IPsec VPN using an open swan, which is an open source VPN software and we'll be using EC2 instances to validate that we have our VPN connection up and running. So without wasting any time, let's just jump into our AWS console and set up our site to site VPN. So guys, now I'm in my AWS console, as you can see, so I've already shown you the kind of architecture we're going to have. So let's go to our VPC console. And let me show you the VPCs which we have right now. So I've already created two VPCs. Okay, so yeah, so there is one on-prem and an AWS environment VPC. You can see the CIDR block, one is 10.1, the other one is 10.2. So the first thing what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll be launching a couple of EC2 instances in each VPC. So let's go to EC2 console. Go to running instances and let's launch instance. So first one I'll be launching in my AWS environment VPC. So I'll keep it as T2 micro because we are using this instance for testing our VPN connection. So let's select the VPC. It should be in public subnet. Let's enable the IP and storage. Let's add a tag name. Give it a name of uh, AWS ENV. So security groups, I already had created one security group. So you can see the rules. So I'm allowing all TCP, UDP and ICMP from the other VPC, which is 10.2. You can see that. So let's attach this security group. And let's review and launch. Everything looks good. I have this key. Just launch the instance. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the other instance in our uh, on-prem VPC, which will be acting as our customer gateway. So I'm going to select a T2 medium because we'll be configuring some software on that. So that's why I'm going to select a T2 medium. Selected T2 medium. Okay, so yeah, so before that, I want you to know what is customer gateway. Like I've told you before, customer gateway and virtual private gateway are two ends of the connection. So they're nothing more. Just just have that in mind that you need two ends of the connection. Consider one as a VPC end and the other one as your on-prem data center end. So let's select customer on-prem environment VPC. We'll put this in public subnet. Just remember that your customer gateway will be in the public subnet. Let's quickly go. And for security, let's give it a name as well. So I'll give it a name. Let's configure the security group. For this also, I've created a security group already and has the same rules but the IP cider is just reversed so we have 10.1 instead of 10.2 everything looks good I have this key and let's launch the instance so this is going to take some time so okay I got this name wrong okay I see GWS that's correct 
so while these instances are coming up i'll do a few configuration on the vpc end so let me go to my vpcs and on the left hand side down below you'll see few settings for vpn so i'll go to first thing is i'll create a virtual private gateway so at this moment you need not do any setting just give it a name so i'll give it a name and i'll create and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to attach it to our aws vpc so it will take a couple of minutes to get attached next thing i'm going to do is going to create a customer gateway create customer gateway i'll give this a name as well so you can give any name what you want so i'm giving it cgw on prem and for routing i'll select static you can keep dynamic but then you'll need to do a few more configurations but then i'll for now i'll keep it static and in the IP address, okay, so this will require the public IP of the instance which I've launched in the on-prem VPC. So I'll copy this IP. I'll come here, paste it, and I'll create the customer gateway. So this is it. Now the next thing I want to do is, yeah, so on the instance, I need to disable the source destination check as well because this is going to act as a customer gateway. So I need to disable this. Yeah. So I've almost forgot it. Your VPN wouldn't have worked if we haven't done that. So now we are good. Now let's go back to our VPC. And now I'm going to create a site-to-site -site VPN connection. So let's create VPN connection. Let's give it a name. Let's give it AWS to on-prem since this is AWS to on-prem VPN connection. Let's select a virtual private gateway and let's select our customer gateway. So it is already existing. So we can see in the drop down. And for routing, we are going to do static and we are going to put the route of our on-prem cider because we are routing from AWS to on-prem. So this is the AWS end of configuration. That's why I'm putting the IP of the on-prem side of block. Let's create. So this is going to take around seven to 10 minutes to come up. So I'll pause the video and come back. So guys, welcome back. So our connection is up. Now the next thing which we need to do is download the configuration, which we will use to set up our VPN connection. So oh yes one thing I wanted to tell you that's why I was on this bad tab is that you can use a single customer gateway to create multiple VPN connection. Yeah that's it. So now I'm going to download the configuration. which I'm going to use for my configuration of OpenSwan. Let's select generic because I want to be vendor agnostic since, and I'm going to open this on a new tab. So I've opened this file right next to my terminal and I've gone on and logged into my customer gateway instance, which is 1.234. So you can see I'm there inside it and i've opened this file because we'll be installing openswan on this instance and we'll be doing some configuration which will be needing this file okay so let's just do a yum install open swan and it would hardly take a minute so you can see it got installed pretty quickly next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cat a file in etc called ip sec.conf to check so you can see we can include configuration from ipsecd.conf 
so it's not commented so in case it's commented for you, you just go and uncomment this file okay so let's go to etc ipsec dot d directory and here we are going to create a couple of files first one is connections dot conf and the content for this will be available in the description section so you can just go ahead and copy that content modify it and paste it here so that's what i'm going to do so you can see i've copied it so now i'm going to modify it so for left subnet i put the subnet of my cgw or the customer on prem end and for right subnet it's my aws cider block it's here where you need to make the changes so left id like i've mentioned it's cgw ip and for right it's vgw ip so you will get this ip from this file so if you go down below under the section ipsec configuration sorry under the section tunnel interface configuration you'll see outside ip addresses for customer gateway and virtual private gateway so this is the ip for my customer gateway so i'm just going to copy it and i'm going to paste it here and next i'm going to copy the vgw ip and i'm going to paste it here so this is the configuration for this one next file which i'm going to create is the same directory connections or rather connections dot secrets so it's secrets s connections dot secret and this is of the format so you need to put the customer gateway ip first followed by a space then the vgw ip colon space psk and then you need to open the bracket and then you need to paste the shared pre-shared key psk pre-shared key so pre-shared key you will find at the very beginning of this file under internet key exchange configuration you can see pre-shared key is here i'll just copy it paste it here and i'll just save it so all the configurations are done for OpenSwan. So there's one configuration which I need to do at the system level, which is etc sysctl.conf. So I'll paste those configuration as well in the description. You can just copy it and put it here. So these are the three lines which I've put. So you can see I put IP forwarding, I've enabled IP forwarding, reverse path filtering I've disabled and true accept source root check I've disabled. So I'll put the links what these settings do actually. So IP forwarding, I hope you would be knowing what it does. But for these two, I'll put a link in the description so what they do. So instead of explaining it here. All right, so this, these are the changes which we need to do on a customer gateway. Now let's just do system CTL restart our network service. So these changes take place. And then what we're going to do is system CTL start the IPsec service. And if we hadn't done anything wrong, check the status so the connection is coming up it looks good let's just do a detailed and see if we see any errors so for now we don't see any errors so let's go to our AWS console and go to VPC and under our site-to-site -site VPN connection let me just 
bring this up under the tunnel so now right now the status is down so it probably takes um, around five to six minutes for this tunnel to come up so i'll just pause this video and come back when this tunnel is up so guys our tunnel is up right now so guys our tunnel is up now as you can see the status is up so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to ec2 and i'm going to go into my and i'm going to copy the private ip of this instance which we launched in our aws vpc and i'm going to so right now i am on my instance which is my cgw and if we have done everything wrong and the connection is up so if i do a ping to this instance it should go you can see that it's going right so we have correctly and successfully established a vpn connection between aws and on-prem so next thing what i would want you to do is could launch a private instance an instance in private subnet in aws vpc and an instance in private subnet in your cgw and try to ping between those so that should also work without vpc peering so uh, to and to prove that this connection is going over vpn what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a trace route on this ip sorry so i'm going to do a trace route i'll clear the screen and let me copy the ip again and do a trace route so you can see it's directly hitting our ip without going through any gateway or any other server so it's directly going to our ip so that means our connection is direct it's secure and it's going over the ipsec vpn so i think this is it for this video guys i hope you like this video and now you know how to configure and create a vpn connection between on-prem and aws so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching and let's continue with the course